Okay, I'm going to just touch on another talking point here. And I get most of my talking points um, from deep reflection, but also from watching a lot of videos by other content creators in the manosphere, uh, especially. So, um, this one I'm going to talk about the fact that what we have today, this feminism movement, or feminist movement, um, it's only made possible because of the advancement that has been created in civilization. The fact that PC and internet technology and well, industrial advancements and all of that have made life so much easier for the average human being, especially in a manner that makes it unnecessary for uh, the female to feel any limitation in terms of what they are able to do in the kind of kind of daily activities compared to the way it used to be before. I'll give an example. In the past, I'm talking about think of if I if it's still existing today in some in parts of the world, even here in Nigeria, where if you go to the villages, some remote areas right now, they still don't have anything resembling technological advancement, even in terms of uh, infrastructure is not there. People are still going long distances to fetch water and things like that. If you look at it, you will see that men are still very much uh, literally in control of everything there. And the women accept the leadership of the men without complaint. You know, you cannot have a woman activist in the villages. The only women that function in the role of activists, uh, uh, such feminist tendencies are the ones that have been uh, enabled by provision of technologically advanced environments for them to function in. So for instance, the woman wants to eat, she doesn't have to go hunting in the bushes to go and catch lion or I don't know, to catch antelope or anything like that and go and set a trap for three days or four days. All she does is she just goes and buys things from the market, from the supermarkets and if she even wants, she can send somebody to get it on a bike and bring it back to her and she will stock her fridge and freezer. But imagine somebody that doesn't have a fridge and freezer, lives in a hut, uses um, a clay pot as uh, the only place you can get cold water, lives, uh, has no gates to lock because it's just a uh, uh, touch roof in the house, the fence is just made of palm fronts and all that and uh, you know, just sleeps on the floor, there's no special bed, no lighting, no security light, no CCTV camera. Think about it. That kind of a woman will need a man to be there to protect her. Are you going to tell me that a gang of women will now sit together and protect each other? You know they will be overpowered by any group of men that come around them. Women are not born naturally with physical masculine energy. And some the, the women in modern society who go around claiming that they are independent and trying to uh, um, stand against men know that society already demands that the man restrain himself. So in terms of physical force to force, one on one, most men will beat up women and they will, in fact just slap down women with one hand. That we know that for a fact. Then secondly, the truth of the matter is that even if they were to get into a, a, a maybe a survival of the fittest thing, women will die out faster than men. It's a proven fact. Again, it's biology. So the truth of the matter is that women need men to help them survive. Women need, women need men to protect them and, and provide for them, you know, without any advancement of technology. So what makes it possible for women today to begin to raise their shoulders and say, yeah, we can do what a man can do, is only because the society has been, uh, they've been enabled in society through the introduction of technology and advancements of all kinds, including provision of infrastructure that make them make it possible for them to get things done without really needing help from men anymore however like kevin samuel has rightly said and i agree with him 100 percent if those things that are provided are to be meant continually maintained going forward if men step back from doing that work the society will like what the women don't have the resources to do it just look around you and look at all the most important jobs that need to be done in terms of keeping society afloat you will see that men are still the ones doing it. All you see all the time, you see women graduating as lawyers, as uh, bankers, as uh, sociologists, teachers, philosophers, psychologists, psychiatrists, historians. You know, it's always in those lines, those soft skills. You don't see, how many times have you seen a woman graduating as a, me a mechanic? I didn't say a mechanical engineer with a degree. I'm talking about having the skill, an automobile engineer, a real automobile engineer. Or better still, what about the people in the construction industry, working as masons, working as quantity surveyors, working as you know site engineers? Or how many times have you seen a woman who has graduated in those fields and is competent, hands-on, and is actually going to it as a career? 
How many times have you seen that people working in the oil fields? How many women have you seen working in oil fields? Construction is where rigs where they go offshore for months on end. How many times have you seen women doing it? They won't go there. This is the truth. They won't go there. Um, and, you know, and you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Like I said, I take my talking points uh, from some of the things I've heard. Um, I, I never really thought about it in depth like that until I heard Kevin Samuel say it. And I thought about it and I said, I looked around my environment and I realized, this guy is telling the truth, you know. Because I remember all my classmates, all the people, uh, sorry, schoolmates in secondary school. By the time I checked what they all studied, what, I, do, I don't see a single woman amongst all these people I went to in any of the fields where you, you require physical exertion, you know. I mean, for God's sake, think about it. Think of all the fields, engineering. Look, look at the guys that maintain the, the power plants. How many women have you seen amongst them? I'm not talking about people at management level. I'm talking about people that are doing the work, the people that are interacting with the machines. I remember in the breweries, we work, I worked for seven years in the brewing industry. Come on, man. I had no women on my shift. And all the shifts combined, all of them were men. The guys carrying the horses, the one running the machines. The only places you will see a woman will be inside the room where you are recording, maybe coding machines and things like that. You will not catch them running machines, operating machines. You will not catch them running night shifts, working machines and things like that. No, 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 no. So it's a very, very real thing. So when you talk about keeping things going, keeping the technology and the infrastructure working optimally, anywhere you go, look at the factories, go and check. The places where all the heavy duty machinery is being operated, it is men. You are building houses, go and check. Why are the guys laying, laying the tiles? Why are the guys laying the blocks? Why are the ones doing the painting? 99% of the time, it is men. You see, and that is a clear indication of the fact that even though women have more freedom to choose what they want to do, and nobody's preventing them from doing it, they still are not going for the tough jobs. If it wasn't for the COVID 19 pandemic, you wouldn't see women today going to ride um, tricycles. They considered it something that was beneath them. I'm talking about people who are graduates settling for it. Many of them settled for teaching jobs before then. Even though they knew the teaching job was not paying well enough, some of them were living from hand to mouth. Some of them were owing money before the end of the month, yet they stuck to the teaching jobs. When the lockdown happened, many of them had no money to sustain their families because they didn't have any skills, yet they stuck to the teaching jobs. But when the pandemic hit them harder and harder and harder, they were forced some of them to swallow their pride and today you see some of them now doing it but some of them as a few others or many others are still telling them no 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 i'm not going to do that kind of thing because you see the society the way it's been built by men it makes it possible for them to behave that way but go back into the villages go and see women the way they do all the you know housework and all those things go to the market come back cook the food do all those things without complaining nobody is saying we need to go back to that age all i'm saying is that if we are really honest with ourselves what kevin samuel has said is the truth the reason why today's women are behaving the way they are is because men have created a civilization that makes it possible for them to do so but they're getting carried away they think because men have created a civilization it means that biologically they can cope with, the, with, with nature the way men can they cannot but they don't realize it because they don't do that they don't do deep thinking so what they are waiting for is for a disaster to happen for them to realize the truth and by that time the whole society might suffer for it this is why men cannot afford to allow them to go that route and that's why we're calling them out now that's why we're doing this that's why the manosphere continues to get new and new participants men are coming out men are speaking out men are demanding that women take go, return to their roles like Kevin Samuel said, I'm quoting him, if I sound like a parrot, I don't mind be, being sworn. Because this time around, we need to parrot the truth. Look, go back and play your natural role. Nobody's asking you not to be um, educated and independent and all that, but please play your natural role. Stop pushing men out of their positions. Because when you take that position, you cannot deliver the same output that the men can. And society will suffer for it because you are the one there. It's best cooperate with your man and let men lead because it is in their nature to do so and if you love yourself let your sons learn to lead prepare them to lead because it will fall on them naturally biology says so and again let me use an analogy that uh, kevin samuels used because as i said what we need to do at a point is rather than try to reinvent the wheel with regard to passing this message along all we just need to do is sometimes take what the the loudest voice we have 
but who may not have the attention of everybody we echo it and let the, the, the thing cascade down you know and achieve a multiplier effect and get to people that are lower down or farther away so that they can take this wisdom and, and imbibe it and correct themselves look he asked a question and he always does that he asks it of any of the feminist ladies that comes up with a negative mindset to his channel he asked them i mean i'm talking of kevin samuels again he says what is more vulnerable than a pregnant woman and in other words a woman carrying a child what is more vulnerable than a woman carrying a child no matter how much of a feminist you are, no matter how strong you are, no matter how independent you are as a woman, once you become pregnant, and as your pregnancy progresses, you are going to become increasingly vulnerable. Not just physically, but also psychologically and emotionally. You need someone to take care of you. Men never go through that phase. So the key, therefore, is this. Women can decide, okay, I'm never going to get pregnant. But again, it goes against the nature of the woman. The woman naturally is a being that wants to be able to care for and nurture an offspring. So she desires to get pregnant and have a child. It is very rare to find a woman that says she doesn't want. They exist, but they are in the minority. So therefore, what we're saying is this. If society, we are claiming that women say they want to be independent, they are just like men, they can do anything men can do. Can you really? Or is it that the, that the provision that has been made in civilization by men enables you to believe you can? So you've gotten carried away. You are forgetting that you still have physical limitations. Like Samuel says, imagine the entire system of civilization shuts down and we're forced to revert to caveman mode or jungle mode where there was nothing like, you know, you don't have cars, you don't have power supply, you have nothing of the sort, you don't have clothes and all those things. You have to go and probably tear something and wear it, leaves and all that. Who will be doing all those things? How many will be able to do that? You see, this is when it gets real. Go and look at the women in the villages and see how many of them are poking their fingers, fingers in the noses of the men around them and upsetting them and making the men walk away. How would they protect themselves when the men that are there are the ones they, 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 they um, discourage and uh, dismiss? The men go away or they become vulnerable instantly because there's no way women can overpower men of the same age and size. It's, it's very rare. So what happens, therefore, is that any woman that chooses to go that route literally endangers herself in an environment like that. But in the modern world, you see women flexing muscles every day. But that's because they are carried away. If they were to use the analogy and, and reflect deeply on the analogy that Kevin Samuel has used, they will realize that they are actually play with fire. And that's the message we are trying to pass here. Don't get carried away. Get real. Understand that your men still have a role to play in your lives and let them play that role because they are they have been prepared by nature to play that role. You are not equipped to do it. And if you insist on doing it, the whole of society is going to suffer as a result. I don't see why you want to do that if you really love them.